Hi, my name is Sammy and I will be presenting newly found research on artificial skin. Skin comes in three layers. The epidermis for a physical barrier, the dermis beneath the epidermis contains various skin appendages, blood vessels, and sensory nerves. And then underneath these layers is a subcutaneous tissue which attaches to the skin to the underlying bone and muscle. If the epidermis or dermis were to be destroyed from extensive burns, the patient may not have enough donor skin for grafting. Tissue engineering has revolutionized burn treatment now that there are commercial dermal substitutes. In cases of large area of skin loss, artificial skin can serve as a barrier layer to protect the wound and thus induce regeneration of the dermis, which is the second layer of our skin. There are huge demands for artificial skin. Let's take a look at some statistics. In 2016, there were over 2,000 burn injuries, burn injury hospitalization cases in New South Wales alone. With 200,000 total burn cases annually in Australia, costing the Australian community over $150 million per annum. Scientists in Hong Kong have derived ingredients from a facial mask to use as the base material in the production of their artificial skin, narrowed down to the key ingredients in their, final ma in their facial mask to sodium alginate and xanthan gum. Sodium alginate is extracted from the cell wall in, a sea in seaweed, and xanthan gum is a sugar derived typically from corn or wheat. When creating artificial skin, certain criteria need to be met in order for it to work. 1. A homogeneous hydrogel. 2. It needs to not be too adhesive to the wound. It needs to be waterproof, also to prevent entry of microorganisms and inhibit microbial growth as well as absorb fluids. <laughs> this artificial skin in specifically is comprised of three layers, the top being a waterproof layer, the middle is, a, is the artificial skin derived from the xanthan gum and the sodium alginate, and the bottom layer is a calcium chloride layer. The homogeneous hydrogel is fulfilled, with, is fulfilled by the two ingredients, sodium alginate and xanthan gum. A homogeneous hydrogel is a gel that has absorbed lots of water and does not have any precipitations. Sodium alginate can immobilize water to form a hydrogel and xanthan gum can suspend particles preventing the precipitation of ingredients. Initially, the hydrogel was found to be too sticky and so to reduce the adhesiveness to the wound, 4% calcium chloride is applied. This was effective in reducing the adhesiveness of the artificial skin, as you can tell by these images, with every percent increasing the viscosity of the hydrogel, decreasing the viscosity. The waterproof layer helps to prevent irritation caused by the bacteria in the water. This layer, this layer is made from the combination of sodium alginate and hydrochloric acid. The artificial skin has been tested to see if it prevents microorganisms from growing on the skin and was proven that no ba bacterial colonies grew over the skin when tested. To inhibit microbial growth, a licorice root extracted is added, which produced an anti-inflammatory effect and inhibits the skin to create its own strengthening connective tissue. No precipitate is formed when this ingredient is added due to the use of the xanthan gum. The ability to absorb water is very crucial to absorb any fluid is crucial for the artificial skin for artificial skin to prevent infection caused by the exiting fluid from the wound. This was tested and had proven to be a strong absorption of fluids. Derived from the graph here you can see. This product can be produced effectively and efficiently very quickly, allowing it to be tailor-made for the patient's needs. This product, is, this product differences itself from others in the market as it is biodegradable and biocompatible from its natural basic ingredients. This product allows the addition of extra ingredients due to the use of xanthan gum, such as silicon di dimethicone, or other ingredients that would be beneficial for the skin or for wound healing. This product is also highly cost-effective, which each 
with with each feeder squared costing around three Australian dollars, making it really easy and mass producible. Further de developments can include air permeability and include the use of stem cells in the acellular dermis to eventually replace the damaged dermis entirely. Thank you.